Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the fifth session of the real-time catalog item training. Uh, in this session, we will learn about that um, workflow. So in this session um, or in this entire series, we will try to cover all this workflow activity. Although it is not possible to adjust in a single catalog item requirement, but we will try to cover as much as possible activity that we can use in our workflow activity. Uh, so it might be splitted into uh, one or two classes for the workflow. Let's see what we are going to see today at the class. So if you see our requirement, I'll go by this workflow requirement first. So pretty much all these UI actions, I'll revisit one more time once it is done. But pretty much all these requirement related to the form, it's done. So today we'll focus on the workflow. So if you see here, that here we have a number. So first, uh, um, if uh, it is request raised by you, the manager approval is needed. If the request are uh, raised by your manager, the system will be auto approved. Okay, so that is the first requirement. So these two are in a uh, you know uh, point number one, and then uh, catalog task needed uh, if uh, you select the new member. So here you have a reason for new member. If you select that new member then only catalog task is required. So first we'll build the step one and then we'll going forward to the step two. To create the workflow, what is the workflow? If you want to learn the basic things of the workflow, uh, you can go and watch my previous video. There are uh, uh, similar kind of videos there for the basic part of the workflow. Today we'll focus on that real time example. So this is our catalog item. If it is raised by my uh, manager, then it will, uh, you know, it will not go for this uh, approval okay so let's do that first so what we'll do first uh, we'll set first uh, user manager so if i go back to the cc user table i'll test for that abraham lincoln so if you see here the abraham lincoln uh, uh, the manager of this abraham lincoln is if i go back to that so Abraham link um, this abraham lincoln manager is the ability router and this user is uh, actually deactivated we will just activate this user so i'll go back to the default view and then activate that so i'll uncheck that uh, this locked out and then save that okay so now the uh, requirement i'll repeat one more time if the abraham lincoln is managed uh, abraham lincoln is the user if i raise for abraham lincoln the approval should go for the able tutor as he is the manager of Abraham Lincoln. But if uh, Abel Tutor raise for Abraham Lincoln, uh, then as he is the manager of that uh, Abraham Lincoln, it will be auto upload. So that is the case. So very first thing is that we'll go to the workflow here. So we create the flow designer in our, our next uh, couple of uh, series, but for the time being today, we are going to focus that workflow. So this is the workflow page. First, I'll click here new and I'm going to create a new workflow. So here I'll put that group uh, members manager. So this might be my workflow name and here I'll type that um, table equal to sc underscore req underscore item. So this is my table for the requested item. And if you see here, the workflow driven, uh, you can select that, it will be as it is, just submit that, whatever it is. So it will be open a simple page. So let's see, first requirement is saying that if, um, uh, if Abraham Lincoln or anybody else, anybody else is raising the request, this will be uh, generate approval for Abraham Lincoln manager. So we we'll put that condition letter so first we'll do a manager approval. For manager approval, we'll go to the core and then under that approval sections. And then here you have a user approval, you have a group approval, we'll drag the user approval and um, put that. Now once uh, I'll put that name equal to manager approval. And here we will, uh, you know, set the user manager so how do we do that in this case we can put some user hard-coded user 
or else if our value is actually cascaded to any of this field we can uh, you know set that manager approval but if you remember here let let me show you that if i select the requested for here call abraham lincoln and action type is add and then i'll select one user here okay and this uh, i will select new hire so this abraham lincoln i'm requesting for abraham lincoln they this is nowhere um, uh, you know uh, showing that abraham lincoln name to that form so let's see if i open this request uh, if i open the ritm under the ritm abraham lincoln name is not coming anywhere only it is coming to the variable section steps so under this variable section it is available but it is not available any other places so for that uh, we cannot uh, use any direct field from here we have to use the advanced part uh, here we need to put if you see the for example we need to declare answer equal to a array and in this array we need to put the user so what we'll do answer dot push here we need to pass the current or any any user sys id that we want to put as a approval so we put that current dot variables dot the variables name that from where we want to uh, you know bring that um, approvals okay so here uh, under that we have a variable set and under this variable set we have a variable called requester manager so this field should be populated uh, this field this is the ma manager or this is the approval person to whom the approval should go now uh, that's it for the user approval um, so I'll just submit that and attach to that workflow okay so this will be first our first activity definitely there will be some condition so if it is app, uh, approved I will set some value so I'll set that set value close complete close complete for the timing I am doing to understand or uh, you know I will say that state equal to close complete and this will be rejected it will directly come to here now I uh, will attach this um, workflow to our catalog item uh, so far that we have created under this process engine. We have a workflow, we will select that workflow there and simply save that. Okay, so going back to the catalog item, I will uh, refresh that here, we will select that uh, Abraham Lincoln. So once we select the Abraham Lincoln, the requester manager is the Abel Tutor. So the request first will go for manager approval called Abel Tutor. So I am raising the request for Abraham Lincoln. The request will go for Abel Tutor approval. So I'll select add groups here. I'll select uh, act me very, uh, support and then new hire and submit and simply um, you know do a order now let's open this uh, workflow and uh, see what is happening here so if I open this request right now uh, in this request you will be able to see that um, there will be show workflow I'll simply click there and it is saying that auto approved because we missed something let's see so if you see here I misspelled here so V A R I 
a b l e s so that will be the variables now if we i'll do quickly um, order again so now if we search with the request number it should give me that one uh, request and the ritm that have approval so let's go back to that here you can see uh, we have a one approval called able tutor so this is the approval which we are getting if you click show workflow the workflow is waiting for approvals until unless i approve that it will not go further so that's the first condition we have satisfied now if you see our so now if you see our excel sheet what it is saying that if it is raised by manager it will be approval um if it is raised by manager it will be auto approve if it is raised by yourself or any other user the manager user manager approval is needed so what we'll do we'll put a if condition uh, here so if we see here in the condition we have a if request are raised by manager so that will be our condition if the requested by and if i select that able tutor or or the abraham lincoln his manager is the able tutor and that if the requested by and then this his uh, manager this variable both are the same it means that the request is by the current logged in user what we can do we can just simply scroll down and here in this advance we can uh, turn on our script so we'll say that function under this function uh, we will uh, say that validate and here we will type that if current dot variables dot uh, our variables name is we will open quickly those variables so current dot requested by this variable i'll simply go and paste that equal to equal to current dot variables dot then requested manager so if this variable and this variable both are the same it means that manager is request right so we we'll copy this one and paste here okay if it is that so it will be return yes else it will be return no and then here we'll type answer equal to this function we'll call this function okay so this uh, activity is added so we'll uh, first add this activity here and if request raised by manager no then it will go for the manager approval if it is uh, request raised by yes i mean it will go for the further step now if you see here the document it is saying that create uh, here it is asking that uh, create a catalog task for uh, create a catalog task if it is a new member if somebody select new it will be uh, add one catalog task so we'll go here and then again add that if block here and here we can type the request type is new and instead of code also for the simple one you can try that um you know you can uh, uh, simply 
instead of coding you can do that so i'll select here group manager variables uh, reason if reason is new hire so if it is new hire so these are two are running on the parallel so i'll go and add here if it is new hire then it should uh, generate a catalog task for catalog task i'll type the catalog task it should generate a catalog task catalog task um, for ad verification and here i copy and paste the same uh, short description and see any ad group is there or not ldap admin so it will be assigned to ldap admin okay so if it is new it will go here and if you see here both other things are running on the parallel right so both other things are running on the parallel so now if you see in my workflow um uh, this 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 is the approval once it is approved it will be close complete and then uh, if the task is uh, close complete uh, it will be set as a close complete and then the workflow will be ending okay in this workflow there is a small issue i'll explain you but let's see what is happening first if i go back to this uh, group membership catalog item and open that and raise the request called request for is the abraham lincoln and activity is the add groups here i'll select that database here i'll select the new hire and order as per the flow what will be happen it will be a uh, generate a approval and then catalog task let's see first i'll open this uh, request so if i open this request and if i open the ratm you will be able to see that um, one approval task and one um, catalog task is generated so if i scroll down the approval is generated and then uh, catalog task is generated if i simply click the show workflow the workflow will be open and then it is waiting for approval user and waiting for catalog task but here we have a major issue i'll explain that what is the issue and how we can overcome that we'll discuss later but today i'll explain you that what is the issue let's say these ritm generate to one is the approver and another is the task and somebody close the task first it can be happen that approval somebody approve the first that's a separate part uh, but if somebody uh, let's say uh, you know the catalog task they have completed right so if you see here this catalog task is completed but approval they have not yet approved so if i refresh the flow what will be happen it will be approve it will go and close complete this ritm and then it will not execute or it will not complete that approval part so let's refresh that once i refresh that you can see the close complete path go here and then set mark as a close complete it did not wait for approval and it's closed complete the path is closed complete and if you see the ritm this ritm is closed uh, request approve and then close complete but your approval is cancelled because the workflow itself got cancelled because workflow moved to the end part so we will in our next sessions we will talk about that how we can overcome these situations and uh, how we um, do these steps that's it for today thank you very much have a great day